Hey, welcome back to part two of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. As I was saying before, they kind of messed up on the shirt right here. That little logo symbol there is, you know, a Pokestop. Which, as you know, if you played the actual Pokemon Go app, that that little Pokemon, you know, Pokestop, would actually be kind of a bluish color. And then when you spun it, it will turn kind of like to a pinkish purplish color. Which is kind of weird because they have a black with a red, which the actual game doesn't have black and red. Now it was Go Team Rocket Go, which by the way, Go Team Rocket Go is a nice little touch, but it completely effed up the whole app. I mean, the app now freezes, it's jittery, it bats out multiple, multiple, multiple times. And knowing that, if you have, you know, any of the Pokemon Go stuff to, you know, Compare it with like the Pokemon Go Plus or you know the unofficial one, the uh, Gotcha or Gotcha. You know what I'm talking about. This little baby right here, which is definitely 100%, as you a million plus percent better than you know the Pokemon Go Plus thing that you put on your wrist. And even if you have the official, let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu, you know, on the town switch, the Pokeballs, they're not pairing to sync up with the Pokemon Go app. And I was like, okay, you know, what the app is up with the Pokemon Go app? Because, you know, after the new update was Go Team Rocket Go, that's where Dan's completely got F and the A with the app. That I say that it completely went downhill. The app. Your character takes a long, long time, like over seven freaking minutes to load up. That's, you know, hitting the little icon, you know, for the Pokemon Go app, waiting for it to do its little loading screen, then waiting for it to be like, hey, don't be an idiot. If you're crossing the street, put your phone down and let the car that's about to hit you. You know, that little warning symbol. Then after that, for it to actually start loading your character and your the Pokemon around you and stuff, Seven freaking minutes to load up, if not more. Then you cannot gift anyone anymore because it freezes. The game freezes. The game gets all jittery. We're like, you stop, you wait in, like, Poke Stop 10 minutes, you know you drive past it, then, you know, you're already at the sudden Pokemon stop, and then after that, it's like, oh man, your character just, boom, went like Sonic the Hedgehog from that Poke Stop that you're stuck at that won't spin or do anything that you're like, Please, without the hammer time, and then boom, you're there at the next Poke Stop, and you're like, okay, and then you get ready to hit it, and then it's like, oh no, you get ready to catch Pokemon, and it's like, oh no, the game stops and bats you out of the app. Now I add it, you need to seriously work on this bug, because this bug is the most effed up bug that you have so far with this new update. Because, I mean, Go Team Rocket Go is when I know it's Pokemon Go went completely downhill. You need to fix this bud that's been going out. <coughs> Not only that's been going on, but also you cannot pair with anything. So this unofficial one, you cannot pair with. And then, of course, you know, I have the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you know, Nintendo Switch games, which come with the official Pokeball, which, you know, is the official one. You cannot compare with the official one when you hit the sync button or with this unofficial one. Which, by the way, like I said, the unofficial one is a million times better than the Pokemon Go Plus, you know, little wristband thing, which was complete garbage because horrible lifespan. Like, the thing would only have like maybe an hour and a half of battery life, and then it took like six hours to charge it. It was big, it was balky, the point always stabbed you if you set a certain way. You couldn't really reach into your pocket because of how big this thing was on your wrist. <coughs> you didn't know if you went to a Pokestop and got some stuff from a Pokestop. If you caught Pokemon, if the Pokemon went away, all you know is green, red, blue, yellow, purple. It's like pointing at Simon Says a light-up game. Was this, you actually lit the screen and said, hey, you caught a Pokemon. Hey, you got some stuff from the Pokestop. Hey, Pokemon went away. You know, it actually lets you know on screen what's going on so you don't have to touch your phone. Which was, yeah. 
But yeah, like I said, doesn't sync with any of the things. The official, the unofficial, none of them just been horrible. So, Nyad, you need to get your ad together. Also, Nyad, what's the thing up with Ingress? Ingress is a stupid game, in my opinion, because no one knows what the F you're supposed to be doing. Then, after a year that you made the Ingress game app, you release it on Netflix, and it doesn't look that great or an interesting thing to even watch on Netflix. It looks more like, um, what was it, Hero something. <laughs> Hero Mass. I think that was the name of the other show. Where it's the guy that kind of almost has like the, uh, V for Vendetta type of mask on. You know, it looks just god awful, horrible. And then your Harry Potter one that you just came out with, the, uh, Wizards Unite. It's more like Wizards Do Not Unite because you say, hey, we have it for PC, <coughs> or at least I think it was for PC. You're like, hey, if you have a Apple or iOS, definitely you could do it on iOS. But if you have an LG, some LGs. But if you have an Android, which you create an Android, it does not work for Android. Because mine says, no, not available on Android. Because it's a that I know. We have Androids, and like, what the F? You're saying that you have it for Android on your commercials and stuff. But yeah, when we go to the Android's Google Play Store, it ain't be there. So we have to go and to YouTube, type in Wizards Unite, go to a YouTube video, click the link from the YouTube video to get into the App Store. Even though we typed it in the App Store, the App Store says it's not available. Like, it doesn't even exist in the App Store. So we have to go through YouTube to go through a sublink to then get to that. Then, it's like, oh no, it's not for Androids, even though you could have said it's for Android. Plus, not only that, a lot of people have been complaining about the Witcher Unite game that you don't recover energy, so it's not like, okay, you wait a half hour and you recover, like, five energy, like how most games that, you know, runs off of energy, like, or action points, or AP, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, which, you know, usually, it'd be like, hey, if you want to move on to, from, like, stage one to stage two, it'll cost five action points, okay, you have seven, so, you know, Cool, you can move on, but then if you want to get the other five back to move from stage three to stage, I mean from stage two to stage three, you know, you got to wait like 10 or 15 minutes to get like seven action points back or something like that. You know what I mean. If you ever play like mobile games, but they want like action points or energy, whatever it's called, depending on, you know, the game. Usually there's a cooldown time limit that you have to wait to get more points back without actually spending real world money. This real world money, horrible game. One of my friends down the line was like, "Oh my god, I want to play Ingress." I'm like, "I want to play Wizard Unite or Ingress." I'm a Pokemon Go guy, and Pokemon Go is now downhill. How come they didn't release the other generation of the the Pokemon? We're only like what fourth generation of Pokemon. I heard talk about maybe fifth generation coming out or something. What about Meta Evolutions with the Meta Stones. That would be something pretty awesome. Also, when are they going to release, you know, the new Pokemon that just been released from, oh, I can't remember the name of the anime, Sun and Moon type of thing. And when are they going to release, you know, the uh, Special Move Stones. Right, they're not Move Stones, you know what I mean. The Z, the um, type of stones, but, you know, you drop in like, Maybe a fire Z Zephyrion or a water Z Zephyrion. Yeah, go look it up. Some people call it Z Zephyrion, Z Ifium. Yeah, those little Z move stones. When are they going to do that? Maybe that'd be cool. That you know, if you have a certain stone and if you just had like Charizard or a certain Pokemon, wow, you could unleash a super special move. So you had like your stand move that you just tap like in battles. Then you had the one that charges up. Kind of quickly, and then you had the one that takes so long to charge up. But then, guess what? You could have the super, super move that's like a Z move that does that. Or maybe have some Pokemon like Blaziken go ahead and meta evolve to meta Blaziken. That'd be meta amazing! But no, not yet, they gotta be stuck backwards and stuff. But yeah, I mean, Pokemon Go, I guess, are uh, all three games that Niantic has. Pokemon Go is still. No one the best one. You know, now it's completely full of buzz, but yeah. Just wanted to let you know about, you know, 
the deals at Myers, and that you know if you're Canada, you can't get a digital copy. Walmart only carries the digital copy, you know, hard card. They don't carry the actual DVDs, which is weird. Myers is carrying 4K and stuff, but they don't carry the digital one. <coughs> the Niantic games, which are now starting to become horrible. The Pokemon Go, and the big problem with the Pokemon Go game that we currently have that hopefully Niantic doesn't take six months to fix. Hopefully they'll find out that, oh man, there's a bud and they gotta fix the bud. So yeah, here's our card. The Tetra Pure 2. 90. So, Coffee Blade is a special move. It heals 30 damage from this Pokemon and it has Counter Screw Punch which does 20. And it's a promo card which is SM190. And of course there's just this little card in the back which does nothing. But yeah. So here's kind of like, you know, that and of course our two DVDs. Standard which, for some reason, the one was the purple color, which is kind of odd. And, of course, the blue for the blue way, which is kind of cool. But, yep, just wanted to let you know, you know, who has the deals, the best deals and stuff. Like I said, best deal, Myers. If you just want digital, hell to Walmart. If you want a physical copy, Myers, standard, the combo, the DVD, blue way, and digital. Or if you want to get the 4K, which came with 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. Or maybe it was 4K, standard DVD, and digital. I can't remember if it was standard or Blu-ray. But I know it came with a 4K one and a digital one. I can't remember what the second disc was. But yeah. So, a little bit more information in part 2 than part 1. But yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.